Hi, hi, Ellie Walsh here, Mindset and Marketing Coach. And today, another marketing tip. Today, let's talk about how do you forward, redirect some of your affiliate links. And specifically, this is a follow-up from the video I did the other day. I showed you how to make lead capture pages, in essence, for free, because you're doing it right from your autoresponder. But you end up with this big, ugly, long link. So how do you mask that link? And how do you maybe brand yourself or a domain name? You can do it by forwarding a subdomain or, or a full domain. And you can do this not just for that lead capture page, but any affiliate offer you have, any URL that you want to mask. So let's go in and let's look at all of this. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in GoDaddy. That's the registrar I use. And I actually have a code for a, uh, a link for $3.49, I think, to get a domain name, which is pretty good because I think they're about $13 now for the year. But let's go in here, right here. I am in Get Response. Now, that's the autoresponder I showed you how to use, how to create that capture page. And I talked about, well, let's go get it. Let me go into Settings. This is the one I created. I will have a link for that other that other video if you if you missed it I have to go over to publish to get this is how you're doing it you're telling get response to host it and so here's the URL so let me copy that let me go up here and put it in now it and here and here it is I have my sound turned off so we don't hear that because it auto starts it starts right away it's a lead capture page with a video you're paying for your autoresponder anyways. You should be having an autoresponder. Get response, you can get a free 30-day trial, and you've just created a lead page, a capture page, in essence, for free. Instead of having to pay for um, other programs or fiddle with plugins, here it is. But again, we don't all like that URL. I don't want to post that URL in Facebook. Now, you could use Bitly. Some, you know, absolutely no debt about it here. As a matter of fact, I threw it into Bitly. So wait, let's close this page. Let me go over here to Bitly. I have this in here. I'm going to copy it. So now we have a short URL. And the page will come up. That's great. And Bitly works. Most people trust Bitly. But people trust a domain name even more. And if you're branding your name or a specific domain name, doesn't it make more sense to do that? But how do you do that? So here I am in GoDaddy. Let me go into my account. Oh, I'm in already. GoDaddy is amazing because they um, they usually change. I <laughs> said about this, you have to be very clever because in a few weeks it'll probably be changed again. And here I'm going down to domains, manage my domain. Now, here's another tip, especially if you're branding your name. I have my name as elliewalsh.com, .net, .org, and .info. So, .com is a website, but the rest of them I use as subdomains and to forward. Let me go in and find elliewalsh.info. And if you're not using GoDaddy, what you're looking for is the forwarding area for the domain. Now I have four do subdomains folded. I should have showed you this. Before we'll go back to that. Here's one of these. So Internet Success GR.LEWalsh.info. Ellie, why does it say GR? I did that specifically. I'm using that URL just for one offer. So I'm tracking it also. So, I mean, you see the power here? Because in my autoresponder, it will show up the ones that come specifically from this one. And so I know what a link is doing. There's some power in that. And when I click it, it's the same lead capture page that we created for free the other day. Now, I masked it. So you see, my domain name stays in here. 
it doesn't even show that it's from a get response autoresponder. And I actually did that. I hadn't had it masked earlier, and I did it right before I started this video, so it took right away. You know, because it takes a few minutes for the changes to take place in GoDaddy. So how the heck did I do that? Here we are, subdomains. I have four of them. And this one with the dots is that long one with the GR. Here we are at the get response, and here's that URL. The one I copied to the clipboard. Let me throw it up. Oh, I have it up here already. Let's make sure it's the right one. All I did when I created this, and I'll go in and we'll look at it. This is the Internet Success GR. See, it's up here. I just took that domain from this point, because it has the HTTP in it, and I put it in here. Now, I have to move this down because I masked this. You don't have to. I just I did it just to show you you could. So it has a title, has a description, and it has keywords. So especially if you were setting up just a domain to forward somewhere and you wanted to fill those in. Otherwise, you just hit forwarding. I'll show you how simple it is to do. Let's, let me just close it. So remember, you go to the domain you're going to create, and it has to be hosted on GoDaddy. It's not, you don't have it already on a WordPress site or, you know, somewhere else. It's, web, this is their name service. It's sitting in GoDaddy. You go to the forwarding area. Whether you go, if you're going to make the whole domain, you would add one now. And here's where you would add. Maybe you were sending uh, to a landing page for an affiliate offer. You could do forward only, and you could also do forward with the masking. I usually use subdomains, so I'm going to cancel this. Here's the, the subdomains. You go into the subdomains, and I tell it add one. Now, I don't know. Let's say I'm going to call this one more info. So you see what happens here? More info dot Ellie Walsh dot info. And if I was adding this one here, I would grab it from here or any other offer you have, put it in. I always choose permanent. Some people say it takes a few minutes longer for this to propagate through GoDaddy. I've been seeing this go through in 10 minutes, but even a few more minutes, you know, set it up in advance. And you could do forward only. If I did forward only, the get response, the get response uh, URL would show just like it does from Bitly. You don't see that now, right? Well, I just put the Bitly. I just put the Bitly link in here, and so this get if I so if I just hold it forward with that domain, this would show up. That might not matter. It really doesn't matter to me. I just did the masking a little while ago just to show you how it can be done. So you choose forward only or forward with a masking. Forward with masking, you add title, description, keywords. And then you would save it down here. I'm going to cancel it. I don't, I don't need this one. But you would save it. And here's, I have different four of them. All from or from an autoresponder that I'm paying for anyways. And again, think of the power of this. With GoDaddy subdomains, I, I think you can get up to 90 of them. So <laughs> you could create and track then. You can track. You can create subdomains for certain landing pages or certain affiliate offers that you're branding your own name or a, a specific domain name that you want. And you can track it as it's going into your autoresponder. Again, hopefully you have an autoresponder. I don't know how you're co collecting emails without it. And GetResponse has a 30-day um, a free trial. They don't even ask you for your credit card. So all that information is in the other video I did, Create lead capture pages for free that convert 
some of these easy without the fancy background because now we're seeing all the fancy backgrounds some of these easy plain landing pages those are the ones that are getting the highest conversion right now any affiliate offer you can do this with i have a, a if you hit my link for godaddy it's coming up for 349 for if you need a new domain 349 for the year instead of the $13 and, uh, and if you have a domain already, you can go in and do this. So get creative with this. All the offers that you could you could subdomain and then keep track of and brand your own name or your, your specific web, website domain name. Okay, that's my tip for today. Come talk to me over at the Facebook page. Leave, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment. Go see my other video. I'll see you soon. Have a great night.